Hello and welcome to the next video of my LEC 2024 preview series where we're going to cover Mad Lions, a team that I would have considered to be the second best in the LEC over the last few years um, behind G2, consistently going to international events and having domestic success. Um, however, this past offseason, they've made a lot of changes, went in a completely different direction, I think to play a little bit of fan service, and in the end, I think this is hurting the team. So the last three years, in 2021, they went 22 and 14, in 2022, 20 and 16, and then last year, 14 and 13 in the regular season domestically. They did go to both international events last year, and they've been to international events in 2022, and I believe 2021 as well. The team allowed Mac to leave to Vitality. Uh, Mac, I thought, was an integral part to this team's success, but... They've went in a very um, Spanish direction, um, and, and we'll get into that. So they allowed Chasey to leave. I think he's still under contract, but technically looking for offers. Um, Niski went to SK. Carsey and Hillisung went to Vitality with Mac. So the team has added um, players around El Yoya. El Yoya is a very good jungler, one of the best in the West. I would say after Inspired and Yike, he's probably third. Um, right alongside Blabber, if you want to have him in that conversation. I think, you know, last year he left a lot to be desired, but it seems that he was a bit unhappy, um, and we'll see if he can uh, recover from that this year. The average age of this roster is uh, 22 years old, and it's going to have four rookies on it. So in top lane, we have Mywin, or, my, sorry, yeah, my, yeah, we'll go Mywin, um, or Meyerwin, I don't know, Meyerwin. Uh, a player that I had identified in my top lane video, uh, prospect-wise, he's very good, has a crazy champion pool, um, but at the same time, a little coin flippy. 20 years old, 52 games this last year, 2.7 KDA, 8 CS per minute, 54.8 KP, 21.7 gold chair. Those are all pretty average. Now you get to the damage part, and you're like, holy crap. So 632 damage per minute. That's 24.5% of the team's damage. He's a carry-oriented top. His champion pool had, like, Varus games in it as, like, one of his top five most played champs. Zeri top. I mean, you took Vayne, and you went to a whole nother level of crazy up there. Uh, 200 gold, 4 CS, 165 XP ahead at 15 minutes on average. 26 solo kills and 23 champions played. His most played were Kaysante, Gwen, and Karma. 42% of the matches. In the jungle, you have Alioya, 23 years old, only player returning, like I said, in 95 games last year with Mad Lions. He had a 3.9 KDA, 5.3 CS per minute, 70.8 KP. Like I said, I felt he was average at best last year. Definitely below what I would consider to be his standard level of play. 18.8 gold share, 312 damage per minute, 13.4 damage share. At 15 minutes, he's pretty much even with your average jungler, up 5 gold and 15 XP. 14 solo kills, 15 champions played. Um, Vi Sejuani Wukong accounted for 57% of his matches. So everything's going to run through him. Freskawi in mid lane is 24 years old. So a 24-year-old rookie. Um, in 89 games, so I believe this was with um, Movistar Riders, uh, R7. No, it was just Movistar Riders. Um, in, in the Spanish ERL, they brought up a few of their players. So, um, I mean, these numbers do not scream great to me at 24 years old in the ERLs you have a 5-4 KDA which is nice but nice but an 8-4 CS per minute 64-2 KP so very um passive 21.9 gold share 570 damage per minute 22.9 damage share so this team has a vibe of we're going to have carry top uh and facilitator mid which is what they had last year if you think about it but at the same time Niski dealt a lot more damage, and he actually, I think, resource-wise, probably was similar, but at a, higher, at a higher level of play. Like, if you're at an ERL level doing numbers like this, it's only going to get tougher when you go to the LEC. On average, it had 190 gold, 2 CS, 10 XP, had 17 solo kills, 
we'll give him credit. He played 27 different champions in 89 games. That's Champion Ocean. Um, Silas, Ari, and Gragas account for 29% of his game. So wide champion pool. Maybe he can give them a lot of different looks. I know Niski gave Mad Lions a lot of different looks last year, but with the entirety being changed of this team, except one player from Uruguay's to uh, to the players on the Rift, this team may have a totally different play style um, intended. Now, it's shaping up to look a lot like last year's in terms of who's going to be getting gold and who's not, but different coaching staff, so keep that in mind. In the 80 carry role, you have Supa, uh, or Sapa, 23 years old. Um, not, I guess he had really good EU Masters, but the stats over the entire season, like Frescawi's, are not all that inspiring. In 89 games, 4-4 KDA, 9-1 CS per minute, 69-1 KP. 24.9 gold share. Now the damage is nice, 772 damage per minute, that's 30.7%. So he's aggressive in team fights he finds a way to pack a punch but he doesn't get the resources he's not really chasing that cs enough like you could ima just imagine how much more damage he would be dealing if he was csing better or getting more opportunities so maybe that's going to happen this year for him but at least in terms of the entirety of last season a 9.1 is is struggling at 15 minutes he was ahead of his average erl counterpart 690 gold, 9 CS, 420 XP. Uh, 26 solo kills, which is a lot for an 80 carry. 13 champions played. Zeri, Zaya, Kesa account for 57% of his matches. So we'll see how he does. Um, some people are really high on him in, in the Discord. I can't say I am. Like I said about Fresco, I say about Sapa. He's an, older than your average ERL player. And with that in mind, he should be dominant. Um, outright, let alone um, dominant enough to, to get an LEC opportunity. There's a, a notion around that El Yoya kind of just brought in his friends. I mean, I'm not going to read into that because I don't care enough to actually follow the drama. Um, but at the same time, you look at these stats and one has to wonder, what are, what are we doing here? Alvaro in support. I think he's worthy of this opportunity. Um, I think he, he put up great numbers last year in 89 games. Uh, 3 8 KDA, 80 KP, so four out of every five kills. Very active. 221 damage per minute as a result of that. Now, the vision isn't great. 298 vision score per minute, and it placed about seven wards every five minutes, um, two controllers every five minutes, and only cleared one every three minutes. So, KDA is nice. He's very involved, very feisty getting, in, getting into uh, the action, but finding vision isn't quite up to snuff 15 champions played Rakan nautilus rel accounting for 56 percent so a smaller champion pool than most of the supports i've been discussing in these preview videos but he's 20 years old so there's development still to be had there um, it's going to be interesting to see how these rookies go i'm going to be very excited to see the top in the support in terms of the carry rolls though I mean, they, we'll, we'll see. Uh, at least in ERLs, they're not impressing me, stat-wise. Um, coach is Melzet. Uh, Melzet has no um, experience at the top level as a coach. It seems that he may have coached um, G G2's academy team in the past, was the Move a Star Riders coach uh, last year. So he, he joins the team with his with his. Um, former players essentially so mad lions pretty much brought up the best spanish team from erls and said hey let's see what happens and uh i mean let's see what happens thank you for watching this video if you liked it like it subscribe to the channel for daily league of legends content follow me on twitter join the discord become a youtube supporter and hope to see you again tomorrow